My name is May and I'm a meditator and also the book reviews editor for the WCCM. I think a seminar on democracy is invaluable right now because it goes to the heart of the gospel. In the gospel's concern for others, in its directive to love our neighbour, it should provoke us to ask, what are the conditions for human flourishing, both physically and spiritually? And how do we create these conditions for ourselves and for others? Politics might seem really far from a concern with spiritual matters, but actually what is politics except questions around the organisation of society? And as followers of the gospel, we should be asking how do we organise our society to give the best chance of that flourishing to as many people as possible, regardless of what family they're from or where they were born. It feels like right now, and perhaps this is true, especially in times of crisis, that we seem to have very limited choices in politics, either a far-right populism based on racism and ethnocentrism or a free market neoliberalism that doesn't seem to care whether it leaves behind people or not. How and when did our political imagination become so impoverished? This seminar on democracy will hopefully be a chance to expand on that imagination and what we think is possible for a democratic society. Whatever the case, it will at least reveal our unfailing desire, belief and faith that something can and must be done so that the next generation will have better lives, so that our children will have the material conditions to flourish.